Hey guys, it's Saturday, and uh, I don't know, so I just said go out for a walk and start videoing, and I just said, you know, I had some thoughts going on in my head of uh, what I wanted to say, and uh, give pause keeps coming to mind, and anger. So I don't know if this is reaching somebody or what, but something's telling me to go in this direction. <laughs> uh, you know, it's much better to give a pause, guys, instead of engaging. If you've got something going on in front of you and you feel that little bit of anger starting up, starting to brew, only you know how that starts, because every individual is different. I'll be aware of it. Get in touch with that bit. When you're starting to realise that you're starting to get a little, a little bit angry with what's going on in front of you, or if someone's, I don't know, trying to argue with you is another, that's a real good one, when they're arguing. Instead of engaging with the voice that's going on in your head, telling you why you, the shoulds or the shouldn'ts, which you know how I feel about those words, but instead of engaging with those, because they're just taking you to a place of somewhere before, and that's what you're reacting to. So you, you're getting hurt somewhere. But it's much better if you can pause, even when you've got someone just going peak tongue on you, right? Going absolute eight shit. <laughs> I've talked about this to people before, but. One of the best arguments I got in, and I say one of the best for a reason, because I didn't engage at, at all, and there was a reason for that. But it was there was somebody in a kitchen that all of a sudden had a, had a problem with me. I don't know why. And uh, I didn't understand what they were saying because I, I didn't speak the language. And... I, don't, I can't even remember if I'd been in, in the country that long, really. And I'm standing there, and, and but I'm, not, I'm totally not understanding what's going on, why. No one's explaining to me why they're mad. or I just, I'm like, I, don't, I really don't understand what's going on. So all I could do was like just go, I don't know what you're saying. And um, I had no reason to engage to engage because I didn't understand you can see the body language I understood that but I wasn't engaging with the I wasn't engaging with any words so whatever they they could have been saying whatever to me and really tearing me up and I no idea whatsoever All right I had no I had no idea so it's it kind of it kind of it's like that pause because it was so if you can if you can pause and just breathe and give yourself like three to five nice long I'll go around all my spot guys you might pick up a little bit of wind in a minute um, do it do do three to five nice good nice good breaths box breathe if you have to but just and concentrate on the breath and just and just allow and allow the emotion to be there. I hope you can uh, let me try and see if I can get to a spot where it kind of cuts the wind. Uh, not really. Uh, maybe over here. Let me see. Maybe this will block it out a little bit. Or not. <laughs> um, Alright, I hope you can hear me. But uh yeah, just give about three, three to five breaths. I'm going to walk back because it seemed like better when I was actually walking. Three to five breaths, tune in. Don't tune into the scenario that's happening in front of you because that's going to cause you a problem. That's going, to cause, that's going to cause you to attach to what's happening in front of you, which just adds fuel because whatever it is that wants to get fueled up is sitting there wanting to get fueled up. So the less ammunition you give it, the less reason you give it, the better you're going to stay in control. The first thing is get, get on your breath. Give a few deep breaths. And just pause a little bit. Put space. 
when you put space, your mind thinks differently, it shifts. Because you're consciously putting the space. It's not a it's not a it's not an unconscious thing. Right? When you give that when you give that little space, it allows the mind to slow down a little bit and not engage. And when you're not engaged, you can start to think. And it's better to walk away. It's better to be quiet and walk away. Well, hang on. It's <laughs> it's better to be quiet and walk away. That's more warrior than it is to engage and throw the weight around and start shouting and hollering and it does nobody any good, especially you. Nothing does nothing but bad. Raises your cortisol. Your immune system goes in the shit. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 everything goes to shit. Your whole body chemistry turns into a negative cesspool and frequency, which is really can be a hard one to pull out of sometimes, especially if you hit that rage point. Now you've got a real problem. For what? Maybe somebody I don't know didn't comment comment you correctly or accidentally bumped into you or cut you up in a line is it worth it yeah spouse has a go at you because you ain't done the ain't done the washing up or there's something in the sink that, that, you know we all do it we all have our, we all have our bits right so it's better to just breathe it's not worth it it's not worth engaging it's not worth engaging. Just give that space and think. Engage with engage with the positive. The positive part of it is when you start to think, start to think you know that it's not you. It could be the other person. There's something that's going on with them, right? There's some reason why they're going off. They could be in some area of pain. Otherwise, why would they be angry? There's a reason why they're angry. They're, they're suffering somewhere. And you happen to be in the line of fire. So when you can pause, put yourself in their shoes, now you can start taking a little bit more pity, right? Start start the understanding a little better. Because when you get into the more understanding of the other person and where that may be coming from, especially when it's a spouse, yeah, start getting in touch with knowing their background and knowing where shit comes from and then having that pity and sympathy for them because it's like I know sometimes I look at that and I go shit you know so take pity breathe be the warrior take the control stay the course guys namaste